Founded on October 17, 1995 as one of Major League Soccer's 10 original clubs, the New England Revolution boasts a proud and storied history. While the league has seen rapid expansion and remarkable change throughout the past 28 years, the Revolution have remained a constant as one of just five original clubs to still claim their founding name. Where there has been Major League Soccer, there has been the New England Revolution. Since day one, the Revs, as they are affectionately known, have embraced their New England roots. Using the iconic imagery of the Revolutionary War and the instantly recognizable red, white, and blue to proudly embrace their history and heritage as the birthplace of the Revolution. While their name and colors have remained the same for 28 years, the New England Revolution brand has evolved. And in late 2021, the Reds unveiled a new crest and brand identity firmly rooted in the region's rebellious past and the resilient spirit of the people of New England. The crest's most prominent features are a stylized R reminiscent of the Revolutionary War era and a red strike through, which anchors the club's identity in the defiant and patriotic spirit of the American Revolution. New England's new look embraces the history of the region, but also the history of the club, which has been based in Foxborough, Massachusetts since the league's inaugural season in 1996. The Revs spent their first six seasons at the old Foxborough Stadium, playing their first ever home match on April 27, 1996, a dramatic come-from-behind shootout win over DC United. It's in the net! It's in the net! New England Revolution win! That memorable moment was the first of many for the Revolution throughout their history, highlighted by their first ever trophy in 2007, when the Revs lifted the prestigious Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. The New England Revolution champions of the 2007 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup, the final score 3-2. Just one year later, the Revolution claimed their first international hardware in Super Liga 2008, defeating three Liga MX sides en route to a championship matchup with the rival Houston Dynamo, battling back in extra time to force a penalty shootout, which they won at Gillette Stadium directly in front of their loyal home supporters. While the Revolution's quest for an elusive MLS Cup trophy remains ongoing, they did make history with a record-breaking side in 2021. With 22 wins and 73 points, the Revs put together the best regular season in MLS history, on route to their first ever Supporter Shield title, led by MLS MVP Carlos Heel. Heel's remarkable 2021 campaign was highlighted by a league-leading 18 assists, and despite entering just his fifth season in New England in 2023, the Spanish playmaker has already gained legendary status in Foxborough. Heel is one of just two players in Revolution history to claim league MVP honors, the other being Taylor Twellman in 2005. Twellman's name is etched into the Revolution's record books as the club's all-time leading goal scorer, having found the back of the net 101 times in a Revolution jersey making him one of just 11 players in MLS history to hit the century mark in terms of goals scored. Delivery. Oh, and that Taylor Twelman gets his 100th career goal. Twelman headlined a mid-2000s Revolution team that was littered with legends. Steve Ralston was the primary playmaker for Twelman, racking up a club record 73 assists in more than 200 games played for the club. Shalri Joseph, now an assistant coach with the Revolution, dominated the midfield for a decade, beginning in 2003. Matt Reese backstopped the Revs to three straight Eastern Conference Championships in 2005, 2006, and 2007. Jay Heaps was a stalwart on that back line before going on to lead the Revs to another Eastern Conference title in 2014, this time as the club's head coach. 
Those teams were preceded by original club legends like Joe Max Moore, Alexi Lalas, and Mike Burns, trailblazers who donned the Revolution jersey in 1996. While more recently, the club was led by players like Chris Tierney, a Massachusetts native who played more than 250 games in all competitions before moving into a front office role, and Matt Turner, who spent the first seven years of his career in New England before moving to Arsenal and starting for the U.S. men's national team in the 2022 FIFA World Cup. As the Revolution's roster has changed over the years, so too have the club's primary rivals, with the Chicago Fire once laying claim to that throne as the Revs and Fire met in the postseason eight times in a 10-year span between 2000 and 2009. While that rivalry has cooled off in recent years, new foes like the Philadelphia Union have emerged for consistently heated battles, including a memorable playoff showdown in 2020. Meanwhile, the Revolution's history with fellow MLS originals like DC United and the New York Red Bulls goes back to 1996. No matter the opponent, the Revs have been backed since day one by a diverse and energetic supporter culture, flocking to Foxborough from all six New England states. The Midnight Riders were formed in 1995 and have been an official supporters group for the Revolution's entire club history while the Rebellion was founded in 2009 and have been steadfast supporters for more than a decade. Weekend after weekend, New England's most loyal supporters packed the Fort, an area of the stands located behind the goal at the north end of Gillette Stadium, a 66,000-seat venue where the Revs have played their home games since the building opened in 2002. Don't expect those seats in the Fort to be utilized, however, as the Riders and Rebels stand, sing, chant, and drum for 90-plus minutes. Foxborough isn't the only place the Reds feel that support either. No matter the distance, Revolution fans travel far and wide, from California to New Jersey, where the Reds once traveled more than 1,200 fans for a playoff meeting with the Red Bulls. The Revs have their sights set on a return to the playoffs in 2023, led on all fronts by sporting director and head coach Bruce Arena. The most decorated coach in MLS and U.S. soccer history, Arena was at the helm for the Revolution's record-breaking Supporter Shield season in 2021, as well as a total of five MLS Cup titles and three other Supporter Shields with DC United and the LA Galaxy. Arena has won 250 games as a head coach in MLS more than anyone in league history. While he is perhaps most famously known as the man who led the U.S. men's national team to the World Cup quarterfinals in 2002. On the field, the Reds are led by Carles Heel, their captain and talisman. Heel followed up his 2021 MVP campaign with another stellar year in 2022 racking up seven goals and 14 assists while firmly establishing himself as one of the premier attacking players in all of Major League Soccer. He is joined in the attack by Argentine forward Gustavo Bo, who has registered 37 goals and 16 assists in 81 appearances since arriving in 2019, and former Juventus striker Giacomo Vrioni, who debuted late in 2022 and would be looking to establish himself in 2023. Fellow newcomer Dylan Barrero showed flashes of his talent last season, and could be poised for a breakout first full year in MLS. MLS veterans like Matt Polster, Tommy McNamara, and Latif Blessing give the Reds strength in midfield, while the back line is marshaled by the club's all-time leader in appearances, Andrew Farrell, who was suited up more than 300 times for the Revolution in all competitions. Young center back Henry Kessler has emerged as a staple on the back line, Brandon By and DeJuan Jones have developed into two of the best outside backs in the entire league, and newcomer Dave Romney adds another veteran presence in central defense. Backstopping them is Jorge Petrovic, the young Serbian goalkeeper who joined midway through the 2022 season and took the league by storm, finishing second in goalkeeper of the year voting and winning the Revolution's team MVP award despite playing in just 21 games. Petrovic highlighted last year by saving four penalty attempts, setting a club record in the process.
Both the present and future are bright in New England, which has seen several players rise through the ranks to move from their academy to the first team in recent years. The homegrown trio of Noel Buck, Damian Rivera, and Justin Renex all scored their first MLS goals in 2022. Esmir Barak-Terovic, meanwhile, took a significant step on his promising pathway with an MLS debut late in the season, while another teenage midfielder, Jack Peniotu, joins for 2023 after leading the Revolution's under-19s to an MLS Next Cup title last summer. New England's current crop of homegrowns will be looking to make their marks once again in the coming year, while the Academy and Revolution 2 are always working to develop the next generation of talent.